guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Miranda and today I finally got my Urban Decay Naked Heat palette in the mail and I'm so excited because this palette is me if I was a palette this is me these are the colors that I literally use all the time and it's so beautiful and I feel like there's so much backlash with this palette and I'm not sure why apparently there was an article that did like really bad swatches of it so people are like talking about it badly but i've seen people do reviews on it and they said that it was good so i'm like hello i already have the original naked palette and the naked three and i like those ones a lot i know some people with the naked palettes it's usually like hit or miss people either really love them or they really hate them but they're still talked about a lot nevertheless and today I'm just going to be pretty much giving my first impressions kind of I guess I didn't talk through the look that I did but if you want to see how I did that that will be later on as well as swatches but overall first the packaging is beautiful I really really love it the actual box, very beautiful as well. I love good packaging. And the palette, of course, as long as well as the other naked palettes, it does come with a double-ended brush. I'm not sure if it has a number. It's the RCP 10W. I don't know what that means, but you pretty much can only get it with the palette anyway, but one side is more of a fluffy blending and the other, very similar to pretty much all the other palettes, is kind of a flatter, more dense packing brush. So overall, like I said, these this palette's basically Warm Tone Central. If you don't like Warm Tone Shadows, you're not going to like this palette. And very similar to pretty much the other Naked palettes, it does have mostly mattes with, let's see, I've got one, two, three, four, five shimmers. And... From what I've witnessed so far I haven't used every single shade but so far all the mattes are very beautiful the shimmers are so pigmented you'll see in the swatches how they show up and whatnot but I think they blend super duper nicely and like I said basically if you like warm toned shadows and you don't already have a palette like this where's my ambulance if you like warm tone shadows and you don't already have a palette or shades that are already like this, I definitely think it would be worth the splurge. A lot of people don't like spending $54 on a palette. Personally, you're paying for good quality and Urban Decay is a cruelty free brand. I'm pretty positive. So that's something to take into consideration. The colors are all so beautiful and I really love it. So that's really all I have to say about that. So if you want to see swatches and how I did this look right here, then just keep on watching.
But yeah guys, that is the end of this video. I will have links to everything down in the description if you're interested. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Like, Who are you, deep tooth? <laughs> Who's texting me at this hour? <laughs> my my palette got delivered. <laughs> I just now got a text for it. Done. Mm. Only one. Only one. Well, yeah, only got one no. palette. Oh, you mean my eyes? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me no. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> You're a weirdo. Just like those teeth. <laughs> oh no, my scrunchy. Okay, be quiet, please. Just for like five. <laughs> Don't be like. Oh. <laughs> um, my ears are good, thanks. <laughs> I didn't ask if they were okay. You're wee woo wooing when you're already there. <laughs> it just turned on. Please be quiet. <laughs> just let me get through this. So if you want to see swatches. <laughs> Bye. Oh my god. <laughs>